They're like us, yeah. <laughs> Fat and lazy. Hello guys, welcome to vlog number one of our Tasmanian trip. You can see in the back here is the Richmond, famous Richmond Bridge that was built in 1823 yeah. by uh, convicts of Australia, which is like, it's so incredible. I'll zoom you in so then you can have a bit more of a look. So we've just stopped off in Richmond just to have a look at the town because the buildings are so so stunning and we're heading up to Lake St. Clair today so which is near Cradle Mountain if you haven't been to Tasmania before the weather the weather the weather is amazing um, it's just a little bit overcast but it's not too cold either which is really good it is just a little bit glary today I guess so we're gonna go walk through the town we're also heading up to a distillery today a rum distillery which if you guys have been following me for a while you know that I love love rum so come with us on this adventure of Tasmania make sure that you like subscribe leave a comment down below of all the places that you think people should go and visit in Tasmania and let's go Lake, Lake St. Clair, and we parked up for the night. Pretty expensive for a car spot if you're coming. $43 for um, just like a powered site, which isn't that bad if like the place is really pretty, but it's a bit muddy, obviously because it's winter. And I don't know, like it's, there's like shipping containers. It's not the prettiest and you're not even like anywhere near the lake either. I walked into reception and he was like, oh, like, can I help you? And I was like, oh yeah, just like a camp spot, like near the lake. He was like, oh yeah, no. So Lewis is a bit annoyed because like we literally could have parked on the main, like a car park near the main road. That would have been free. But anyway, it's just more that it eats into like our budget, our holiday budget now. But yeah, there's like little cabins and hopefully the lake is really like cute and pretty. We might be able to bring some chairs down and have some wine so hopefully it gets better like there's these little cabins like just here like little rooms and then i'll show you some of the cabins when i come down like the cab they actually look really quite cute maybe we should have just opted and paid for a cabin they would have been like right on the water lewis no. <laughs> well that would have been even more money it's like these little cabins like here it's like right on the lake so they're a bit cute but yeah that's okay Oh, they've got they've got fireplaces too. Oh. Babe, they look really cute, actually. Damn it! We just went to the lodge to have a beer it's quite cold um i think it's like eight degrees right now so it's actually not too bad it's like melbourne melbourne cold really but for this trip we are on the hunt for a wombat and i don't know if we'll be able to find one i feel like we'll get lucky near cradle mountain but we're just heading back now probably going to open some wine um we're going to have sausages and like a potato salad for dinner because we've got like that big van so might as well use the kitchen. This one's actually really good because it has a solar panel roof so we can put the heater on and be all nice and warm and cozy. Oh yeah, there we go. Just a little, little kind of creepy. 
Good morning guys. It is now Wednesday the 21st of September. We've just packed up the van getting ready to leave. I just thought I'd show you a little bit of like where we're actually staying now that it's a bit brighter. So this is Lake St. Clair and these are the powered sites that we're staying in but the actual forest sort of area looks a bit enchanted so it's like completely covered in moss. It's really really pretty. So I'll just turn around and show you. So it's so nice. So we're gonna head down to the lake now because we didn't actually really get to see it much yesterday because we got in at four o'clock and then we went to go have a beer and then the sun started to set. So we're gonna walk down to the lake now and I'll show you what it looks like during the day. We're also heading off to Strawn and the start of Cradle Mountain today. We're not actually gonna do Dove Lake and stuff until tomorrow because the drive is pretty long. Like it's about three hours in the van till to Strawn and then another hour, hour and a half to like the start of Cradle Mountain. So yeah, it should be a good day. Nelson Falls. It's like a 20 minute walk to a waterfall. Super, super pretty. You could probably hear the river right behind me, just there. It's really pretty. It's like another enchanted little forest. Yeah, it's very nice. yeah so we're just here just to stretch our legs a little bit and then we'll be back in the car, well, the van, and we'll head to Queenstown and Strawn. Okay, last stop for the day. We are, where are we? I actually don't know where we are. We're outside of a town called Rosebury. It's like 15 minutes from that town. And we've just stopped at a like free camp for the night. It's a really pretty lake. There's like no toilets, no nothing, but there's a couple of like caravan parks where you can stay. So I'm pretty impressed with the spot. It was a little bit painful to get the van um, into, the <laughs> into the actual car park. It's kind of on a slant too, like it's not straight. So when we have a shower tomorrow morning, that'll be super, super interesting. But I'll show you the lake. So that you, there's been some other people that have obviously stayed here because they've got like campfires and stuff that you can probably see. Um, but it's really nice. A guy came past before on this little like jet boat thingamabob. You can see the mountains in the background too. They don't have any snow on them but I'll see again if I can like zoom. Yeah you can see that mountain like just there. It's quite pretty. We're just gonna get some chairs out, have a look at what the plan is for tomorrow because we're heading to Cradle Mountain and then yeah I don't know. We're a bit stuck because we kind of missed, not yeah we kind of like missed a night when we first came in because our flight was cancelled and then delayed. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have like pretty plebby meal tonight. We're having noodles with like some cut up sausage, which sounds disgusting, but I'll show you what it looks like. And now it's just, again, wine time. The Good morning, guys. We are here at Cradle Mountain. We've been driving for around an hour. It's just gone 9 a.m. And we are just about to head into the visitor center to get a shuttle up to Cradle Mountain because you can't actually have access, like private access. You can't drive up yourself. So our main thing that we want to see at Cradle Mountain is Dove Lake, of course. Like every visitor wants to go and see Dove Lake. As well as a wombat. Now I think that we're pretty... Uh, unlikely to see a wombat because it's like not dusk time but let's see if we can find one they're like little wise old men they're so cute but yeah really looking forward to see Cradle Mountain let's go
So we've just jumped off the shuttle and we're starting off on a boardwalk heading into Dove Lake. This is apparently the spot where you'll see wombats the most. So really hoping that we get to see one. I think the walk is like an hour each way and then we'll catch the shuttle back um, to Dove Lake and the visitor center. It's so, so pretty here. There isn't much snow, but I mean, it is September, so that's okay. Guys, no joke, like 10 meters into the walk, we saw a wombat and they've all got like little babies. You can't, we can't really see them very well because they're so far away, but they're so, so cute. Finally, being able to see a wombat in the wild up to 31 years. So, so, so exciting. Do you love it, Lewis? Yeah, it's so good. So good. They're the cutest thing. They're just like old grandpas, but really like cute and sweet. I love it. They're like us. They're like us, yeah. <laughs> Fat and lazy and slow moving. <laughs> at Dove Lake now sort of we've just passed I think it's Lake Lila or Leela you just lily. just lily but it's got an a in it anyway whatever just past this lake here it's really so pretty very mountainous as well again not much snow which is good the tracks a little bit wet if you do come to Cradle Mountain just make sure that you're wearing like proper shoes I'm in my converse which for me are fine because they don't hurt my feet but I'd recommend like hiking boots or something just because the terrain like is pretty it's quite rocky so you just got to be really careful to not slip and hurt yourself yeah I'll show you Dove Lake when we get there and we made it <laughs> Dove Lake boat shed it's actually really cute it's on like rocky lake and there's this oh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it there's this random tree in the lake it kind of reminds us of Lake Wanaka in New Zealand where there's that famous random like tree it's so cute so here we just stopped off at the commons which is in Burnie on the north coast of Tassie the chicken wings and the salt and pepper squid was so good this is the sunset in Penguin, which is just the next suburb from Bernie. And I'm just going to end this vlog over here. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for episode two.